So welcome to the second episode of editing concert photography in Lightroom. I don't know if it's kind of like a series or not, but I made like the first episode, I guess, and definitely check that out if you haven't already, but it did relatively well, so I thought I'd make a second one. My computer is actually rendering something right now, so I don't know if you can hear the fan or not, but this was a highly requested video, so I had to make it right now, ASAP. But yeah, since that video, things have changed a little bit and I've learned some new things and I do things differently, but I still highly recommend you watch that video because I still stand by some of the principles I said in that video and I touch upon some topics and do some techniques that I still do to this day, but I just do some things differently as well because for concert photography, like I said in that video, you, there's so many ways you can go about things and you can do like black and white, you can do like a film preset, you can alter the colors to be completely wild or you can make the colors more natural on the skin tones. There's just so many things you can do. So I'm just gonna get started on this video. But before we get started, I highly recommend you watch the video on the color theory, color wheel, whatever. I do talk about this in my past video, so I'm not gonna talk about it today. This video will be kind of like a walkthrough, so maybe it'll give you some inspiration or some like tips or whatever, but whatever it is, I uh, hope it can be helpful to you guys. And yeah, let's get started into Lightroom. So this is the first photo we're gonna be editing. It's the Dev Never photo, and I kind of went over it in my white balance video. But for this picture, we're gonna go more in depth into it because for that uh, video, I was mostly doing white balance adjustments and I might have done a bit more past that, but we're gonna go through the whole thing today. So, so the first thing I wanna do is crop it to make it a vertical photo so the composition is better. So I'm gonna press X to make it vertical and I'm gonna use the same dimension still, uh, three by two, uh, but for vertical. So like I said in the white balance video, I was trying to make this picture more balanced and her skin tones to look more natural. And that kind of made like a complementary color scheme, uh, which worked out, which I wasn't going for, but it worked out. So you can kind of see in the histogram, there's some magentas here, uh, which I think you can see in the picture as well. Uh, there's some greens in the shadows that maybe we can use later on. But for now, we're just gonna make her skin tones look more natural by using the white balance. Yeah, I think that's a really good job. Um, and we're gonna turn down the contrast a little bit. Usually I do that for night photography or concert shots and I'll add the contrast in myself later on. I'll decrease the clarity too because I kinda like the dreamy effect of the light beam. Uh, yeah, this was shot on 1.8 as well, so it even adds more to that dreamy aesthetic. And also, I just don't like images to be too sharp. Uh, I'm gonna add some dehazing in there. Uh, and saturation, I usually take away some. But for this one, I think we can leave it for now. Uh, and then we're just gonna add a generic S curve. And yeah, so I'm gonna raise the whites. Uh, I usually raise the whites because I think it kind of gives it like a pop instead of highlights. Uh, yeah, it's just too much with the highlights, I think. So, I'm even turn it down a little bit. Uh, shadows, just maybe a little higher. You don't, you don't have to make that adjustment, to be honest. This is a really slight adjustment. And blacks, I'm gonna raise it slightly. Uh, and yeah, this is pretty close. Um, I just wanna see your skin tone. It's pretty good. I think we can make it a bit more green. Yeah. And there's colors all over the place, so I can't really check the histogram for this, but it looks pretty good to me. Uh, sharpening. I'm holding down Alt just to see what's sharpened. I'm gonna do some additional sharpening for this. And whatever is not masked is uh, less sharp, so it kind of adds to that dreamy aesthetic I'm kind of going for. And then I go to the color calibrator, and usually I'll go this way for my blues, and usually I'll go this way to my greens, and usually 
this bread is uh, I don't really have to go to, but we kind of have to see where these go. So, so for this one, I think I'm gonna increase the blue hues a little bit just to kind of get more of that purple in there because uh, according to the color wheel, like uh, purple and green is kind of more closer to complementary than like the uh, aqua to green or aqua to yellow. So. I think it just looks better in my opinion, so. And yeah, we can I mean, just play around with it. Um, usually if you increase the hues of the greens, the oranges will be a bit more red as well, which is usually a little bit more pleasing in the skin tones as well. And the greens will be less yellow as well, which I like a deep deeper hue of green, I guess. So I'm gonna go for that. And Red, I don't think we have to change anything. Um, for shadows, I'm gonna add some green in there actually. See the difference. Actually, there isn't much of a difference, so I'm not gonna do that. Uh, and then we can go to HSL. Actually, I'm gonna do split tone first because I know that. I want to try this green and purple thing. So let's try green in the shadows. And then maybe purple in the highlights. So the green kind of balances out the background, but I don't know if we want that. So we can switch it around to purple and green here. I think that works a lot better in my opinion. It's kind of really, really subtle, but definitely adds to that. Make it more yellow instead of green. Yeah, I think that works. And then fine tune your adjustments in your HSL. Maybe add some luminance to make your skin pop a little more. And you make the green pop. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Make it a little bit more purple. Uh, just play around with it and... Yeah, I think I want to make the purple pop a little bit. So, yeah, we're kind of going for like a vibrant kind of image. But without really going crazy on saturation. Yeah, we can even add a little bit of saturation. Yeah. I think that was good. Let's see if there's any clipping. No. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, I might even go add a little more green in there. Just because I think our adjustments on the purple just now made it uh, more unbalanced. So, yeah, so this is. Compared to what I did, uh, it's pretty close. So, actually for this picture, uh, I added a gradient tone. Uh, so we can go to temperature and tint. So for this side, you can see this light, uh, purple light hitting her edge. So we can kind of add that in there as well. Uh, kind of just give more of that aesthetic. Wave clarity. And then for this side, I did like a green one, just to add to that green and purple look. So we're gonna first mess with the tint, then we can kind of mess with the color and temperature afterwards. I think making it warmer would be better. Uh, and feather it out more. And then let's try to go for green here. And desaturate it. Uh, and make the feather bigger, I guess. Or, yeah, not affect her as much, maybe. Make it less, maybe.
too. So yeah, um, there's kind of can kind of see like a green kind of vibe on this side, but a purple kind of vibe on this side. Uh, while her skin tone looks more natural than it did before, so so this is the before, and that's the after. So the second photo we're going to be editing is a photo of Lord Felix. Uh, he's a local Brockton rapper. Definitely check him out. He's kind of underground, but definitely talented. So this one is a little bit different because the lighting scenario here kind of sucks. Uh, so when the lighting scenario sucks, I recommend you to either make the picture black and white or make some really minor adjustments or do a film preset. So for this example, we're going to use my film preset that I released on another video. Link will be in the description, but uh, yeah, the preset doesn't work right away. And I'm going to make a video about why presets don't work. By the time this video is out, maybe I already released that video. Maybe I didn't, but basically the gist is you have to make minor adjustments. So I'm going to decrease the contrast, increase the exposure a little bit, increase the shadows and decrease the saturation. Most of the adjustments you will have to make is here. Decrease the tint and the decrease the saturation even more. Yeah, I think that's fine if you're like going for like a film look and even if the lighting conditions are really nice uh, you might want to go for a film look anyways because it kind of fits the vibe of the artist or the aesthetic that you're going for. So I'm just going to return to that Deb Never photo and try to use my film preset on that photo as well. Uh, so let's just click the preset. This is reset and then click the preset and you can decrease the contrast, decrease the highlights, increase the shadows, decrease the saturation, lower the tint. Uh, and see, make the adjustments where you see fit. And yeah, that's kind of like a kind of moody kind of film kind of look which might be pretty cool. Uh, you can kind of like make a, so for film kind of preset, sometimes I really like to use a cinematic kind of crop. So I kind of think it fits the vibe a bit more. So I think that's a really cool image. Uh, but yeah, there's no one way to do things. So I think that works out really well, but definitely when the lighting conditions aren't really nice, you can definitely go for a film preset or like I said, black and white. So for this image, I want black and white uh, because normal presets. Okay, so actually for this one, I thought the lighting conditions were good, but when I was editing it, it didn't come out as well because I think it's just too on the nose, like orange and blue, you know? Um, but yeah, I just use a black preset, black and white preset. Uh, usually for my black and white photos, I like to go for super high contrast uh, kind of look. And you can definitely refine it here. So I know for the original image here is blue, so we can make it slightly more bright because I think it's too dark. And then I'm not going to make any adjustments to the orange side, which is here. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good for me.